You really think you can get him out? Let me have a shot. I'm nowhere without your help. You out one month and you bang. He said that we were the only thing he was fighting for in there. Then he finally comes home, we're a family again, and now it's gone. The Wallace. What's going on? Turn around. You don't have to do this. He violated the conditions of his probation. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love for life, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about for life season two, episode five, the winter finale. This is the what to expect video for episode five, and it is based off the trailer that they put out in the description for this episode reads, after Aaron and Rosewell agree to help a young woman facing deportation for a minor crime they realize her case could be a key to exposing a broad pattern of police corruption meanwhile jasmine begins to spend more time at ronnie's house and marie grapples with the first signs of an empty nest on the winter finale of abc's for a life um, this episode will be very good just based off this trailer we can tell a lot of different things is going to happen and aaron is going to have to face some dark past and you know times of his life once again because we know he doesn't want to get locked up we saw in the trailer once again he's getting arrested and he's about to go to that familiar place that you know he doesn't want to go back to so let's begin i'm gonna try my best to go over the key uh point that we saw in the trailer if i miss anything you guys let me know now what we can expect from this episode is aaron of course once again to go he's going to have a conversation with jamal's sister now remember jamal's sister is key um in this case because with her testimony and her facts it can help jamal get out and you know your boy aaron is talking to her and they really believe that they can get jamal out of prison now once we get to jamal it seems like he hears something that he doesn't like maybe aaron got some new information and they got some bad news but it seems like from what jamal was saying aaron is giving up now i don't know if aaron is giving up maybe he just told jamal the facts but it seems like it's going to be some issues between the two um jamal does not want aaron to give up he wants him to keep fighting because we know jamal he wants to be a free man as well and he told aaron look you a free man and you just gonna bail on me so i'm eager to see how that storyline plays out now we get to jasmine and marie and of course jasmine is upset that her father has left i don't blame aaron for leaving he did what he had to do we have to remember that jasmine is she's a young teen and of course she doesn't fully understand some of the things that adults go through and in this relationship yes she does want her parents to stay together but at the end of the day they have to do what's best for them and that's exactly what aaron is doing and of course she's upset because she wants the family just to be a get to be together right now marie of course is going to be kind of sad this episode because as the description said jasmine is going to be over ronnie's house a lot more getting those cheeks clapped while she's there sitting all along with no aaron with no jasmine with no one you know what i'm saying not even bitch ass darius is there she's lonely so expect to see her go through some stuff this episode now your boy Henry and Aaron, it seemed like they was about to leave court and all of a sudden Aaron's PO, he decides to pop up talking about you have violated your probation and all of a sudden, once again, your boy Aaron is being arrested and it's bad news, right? Because this is the last thing that Aaron wanted to happen. Now, apparently something happened. He must have told Aaron not to, uh, not to do something that he didn't want him to do or whatever. Mary, maybe Aaron was late or... You know, you know, this this P.O. was all over Aaron. He doesn't want him doing certain things. Um, and he's you know, he has a battery pack on him. Right. Because, you know, his boss, they pushing these buttons on him to make him put more pressure on Aaron. Deep down inside, this P.O. doesn't really want to do this, but his bosses are telling him we need you to push push that pressure on Aaron Wallace. We don't like him. So Aaron, once again, is going to be back locked up. Now, I don't think he's going to be locked up for a long time. Um, this will make for great TV right here. And this will make for a chance to, for Aaron to, you know, make those adjustments. And it's just crazy how it's all going to go. Because after you spend nine years in prison for doing something that you, you know, you didn't do. And now that you are finally out and then not probably two weeks go past and bam, you're locked back up. So, like I said, this particular storyline 
is good for TV because now the people get to see exactly how Aaron is going to behave once he's back inside those cells. I can't wait, man. I think this winter finale is going to be great. This is the last episode of the year, and we shall be seeing For a Life return next year, um, hopefully early. I believe they already got the dates out. I think it's mid-January. I have to check for you guys, but I will have that information for you guys in the, the recap. But we know, well, I know for a fact it's coming back in January. I can't wait to see the outcome and what Aaron is going to do. We still have a long season to go. Remember that season one had like 13 episodes. This is episode five. So if, they go, if they're going to go in the same route as season one, that means we still have a lot more um, content left and a lot more story to tell. And I cannot wait to see what happens. Now, you guys, you let me know. What do you see playing out in this episode? How do you see Aaron making those adjustments? What do you think Maria is going to do? Will she go back to Aaron and try to tell him, look, I'm sorry, I want you back? Or will she play it cool or whatever? Um, will Aaron reach out to her and try to get her help? Because we know in the past, he's used Marie to help him. Even though she was messing around with Darius, Marie, she's always been there in the sense of, you know, motivating Aaron, pushing him to the next level and not allowing Aaron to give up. Because we know it's been some times that Aaron has wanted to give up but Marie has pushed him to, you know, the next level to stay on track. So maybe she helped him out in this episode because he's going to need a lot of help. And most likely he's going to be sent probably to like a county or whatever. I doubt they sent him back to, uh, I believe it was Belmore. That doesn't make sense. It makes more sense to send him to like the county or whatever. So we're going to see if that is going to happen. And also, I wonder if Darius is going to pop up. Maybe he pops up and said, you know what? I know you're mad at me. Um, you my boy, but I want to help you get out and, you know, squash all the stuff that we had going on. But like I told you guys, once your boy Darius starts smashing Marie, I mean, all bets are off. I mean, at the end of the day, I know Darius, besides clapping Marie's cheeks, he was helping, helping out with the family in all types of different ways. But at the same time, his decision to, to mess with Marie was wrong. And it's going to be kind of hard to fix that. Aaron, he has to continue to just let the past be the past. It's going to be hard. But every time he sees Marie, every time he sees that house, of course, he's not going to feel the best way. But that is another story, man. But you guys let me know, man. What do you think is going to happen in this episode tonight? Leave your theories, predictions everything down below and we we'll, we will catch you later at the recap but thank you guys once again but let me go out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace